respected viewers brothers and sisters assalamu alaikum warahmatullah this is the burning issue among the people for centuries that what is the reality of human soul that as long as it remains in human body the man is alive and when it comes out of the body the man is dead the question is then what is its reality so in this speech this issue has been discussed and unveiled in the light of quranic verses and islamic teachings and a second issue is nirvana this word is often used in buddhism and hinduism in such a way that how can one get rid of all of his problems and miserable condition facing to him in his life and how to get state of inner peace and rest and go to paradise so i begin by the name of allah alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wa salatu wa salam ala ashraf al anbiya wal mursalin sayyidina wa maulana muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd the infidels of mecca asked three questions from the holy prophet peace be upon him to test whether he is a true messenger of allah or not first was what was the reality of soul and the second who was the legender Book of Nine, the third, who was the Gog Magog? It means Yajuj Majuj. The Holy Quran replied as, "Aaruz Billahi Min Shaykhan Rajim, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Yes, Aluna Ka Ni Ruh, Uli Ruh Ko Min Amr Rabbi." ड but little it means the people have been given a little knowledge about the reality of the soul so when a soul enters into her specific body the body begins to move and the entire motions of it belong to two categories first is to gain its profitable things and second is to become safe and sound from any loss the holy quran makes mentions it was said to the angels اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فيا سويته ونفخت فيه من روحي فقعوا له ساجدين صدق الله العظيم and when i have formed fully adam peace be upon him and breathed into him of my spirit fall you down before him in prostration 
It was his reveal that Allah Almighty made the statue of Adam first and then breathed into him his spirit and then Adam became alive. The Holy Quran reveals about the creation of human soul as أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألا لو خلق والأمر تبارك الله رب العالمين صلق الله رجيم His verily is all creation and commandment Blessed be Allah the Lord of the world To explain these verses the commentators say that there are two separate things. First is the khalq, it means creation. And the second is the amr, the commandment. Amr means here to order to a particular creation that go on the work you have been created for. The Holy Quran makes mentions A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Allahu Alladhi Khalaqa Sabra Samawatim Wa Mila Arzi Mislahun Yata Nazar Al-Amru Bina Hunna Ita Alamu Anna Allah Ala Kulli Shain Qadirun Wa Anna Allah قَدْ أَحَاكَ بِكُلِّ شَيْنْ عِلْمَا صَلَقَ اللَّهُ رَجِيمٌ The Holy Quran made mentions Allah. It is who has created seven heavens and the earth, the light thereof. The commandment comes down among them slowly that you may know that Allah is able to do all things and that Allah surrounds all things in knowledge. The example of it is that Allah the blessed and exalted first created the universe and created therein the seven heavens and the seven earths and created whatever he willed into them. And after that the power of divine commandment was released and then the universe came into motion. In such a way the moon began to shine, the sun began to rise from the east and set in the west. The stars began to twinkle. The earth began to grow green and the weather began to come and go. Similarly, as we see that someone makes a factory and set up specific machinery into it. And when the factory is ready for production, then the electricity released into the motors and then the machinery begins to move. This is the example of the body and the soul made by mankind. As regards the origin of the human soul, so the Holy Quran makes mentions. Ayyub Billahi Mene Shaykhwan Rajeem Bismillah Rahman Rahim Indama Kauluna Nishayin Iza Aradnaho An Nakura Lahu Kun Fayakun Whenever we will anything to be 
we but say unto it our word be and that is according to the commentators the origin of human soul is in fact allah's word be it means kun because this is the creating word which when uttered by allah almighty it comes the spirit of what it is spoken for it means the human soul comes into being by the commandment of allah almighty now i come to the real point that when the function of a soul is to move then what should be the real movement that leads it to get the real profit and loss so the holy quran reveals اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ونصين وما سواها فعلمها فذورها وتقواها صدق الله العظيم له القران ريفيلز ان ذا سول اند هيم هو پرفیکٹڈ اٹ اند انسپائرڈ ان انٹوئٹ وتھ کانشنس اف what is wrong for it and what is right for it the verse is revealed that allah almighty has inspired into every soul its right and wrong actions the right actions are to have faith in allah almighty and to follow all of his commands according to the good example of the holy prophet peace be upon him and the wrong actions are to follow the directions of devil and the inordinate soul it means nafsa mar now what is nirvana word nirvana is used in different meanings as i have said before nirvana nibbana literally means blowing out or quenching it is the most used as well as the earliest term to describe the stereological goal in buddhism in hinduism hindu nirvana Vishnu, the preserve, one of the best known Hindu gods. But in this speech, Nirvana is used as a place or state of being in peace or complete happiness. An example of Nirvana is heaven. According to the teaching of islam if someone is seek if someone seeks the complete happiness and peace and want to go to paradise then he or she should act upon islamic teachings by faith and by actions by such a way the man can purify his or her soul and can get certain state of peace and tranquility the holy quran makes mentions a'udhu billahi minash shaitani rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim ya ayyatuhan nafsul mutmainna turji ila rabbiki raziyatan marziya فَخُلِي فِي عِبَادِي وَخُلِي جَنَّتِي بَطْ أَحْ لَوْ سُوْ 
put at peace turn unto thy Lord, content in his good pleasure, enter thou among my bondsmen, enter thou my garden. Sadaqallah Razeem. May Allah Almighty give us power to act upon all his commands so that we may enter paradise. Amin. Amalina illa al-Qur'an al-Mubin.